Hi, my name is Nicoletta. Currently, I look like a mess, and I thought it would be fun to bring you along my entire glow process. I realized after filming this video how much money so many of us end up putting into our appearances and how ridiculously expensive it is. But hey, it's okay to treat yourself from time to time, so enjoy my glow process and let's rewind back to the beginning of the week. Hey guys, so I'm kind of excited to do this glow up week because I literally have not pampered myself in so long. And the first step is to get my ratchet nails done. And as you can tell, it, let's focus. They wouldn't even focus because they're that ratchet. But do you see like how grown out and disgusting these nails are? It's been a long overdue. It's a process to try and glow up to look half decent with me. Okay. Okay. Let's go get our nails done and then I will show you guys the results. I just got my toenails done as you can tell and I also got my nails done. So I ended up just going with the classic red and I'm obsessed. I actually chopped them a little bit shorter because they were just way too long and I went for red because I thought it would be a good transitional color from summer to fall and your girl also got an upper lip waxing because I definitely low-key needed it. Adding that onto the grand total of trying to glow up and look like a half decent human being. It was looking real real rough let me tell you. I'm really excited to get my hair done that will be the next steps and I'm supposed to get it done on Thursday. I honestly have no idea still what I'm gonna get but uh, we're gonna do it and I just need some change in my life why hello good morning there hello there <laughs> you know the egg that beat the record on Instagram that's me right now as you guys know I was doing my whole glow up process but unfortunately I actually got really sick after I got my hair done which is why it's not all done from the hair salon because that's originally what I wanted to do we got kind of sidetracked because I was extremely sick I may or may not have been um at the toilet for the last uh, few uh, days so there's that. I am feeling so much better now. Since we're gonna stop looking like an egg and we are going to glow up today. How I try to look my best if, if possible. First things first, I am going to self tan and this is actually my favorite affordable self tanner. It's the Jergens Natural Glow Instant Tan. It's in deep bronze. And this just gives you that natural tan. You don't look orange. I will link anything I do talk about in the description box for you guys to check out. But this one I just find is super natural looking and just really nice. And of course I applied on with a mitt which is just super, uh, not looking on point. I believe I picked this up at like my local drugstore. I just finished self tanning and honestly, whenever I just have a tan, I just feel better. I feel a little bit more slimmer. Is that just me? But it obviously has to develop. What I really like about this tanner is that it also dries really quickly. But now we are moving on to a face mask. So I love this one. It's by Peter Thomas Roth. It's the Irish Moore Mud purifying black mask and if you guys deal with acne this is a lifesaver it's said to purify refine decongesting hydrating mask and as you can tell i've used so much so far this upward angle is not cute but we're gonna do it anyways so i'm just going to apply it all over my skin really focusing it on kind of like my problem areas which a lot of the times are on my cheeks and as well on my chin I don't really break out on my forehead ever. I almost just ate that. <laughs> I'm not really putting any down my neck just because I put self tanner. I put a little bit on my forehead. Hello, face mask on, check. Am I looking glowing up yet? Now that I did my self tanning and then I also just took off my face mask, we are gonna do the makeup, which is honestly the biggest way to transform yourself. I'm gonna go quickly and share with you guys the products I'm using. I guess I might not share with you the whole process because then we'll be here for a very long time. So my hair is just up in a bun because we still need to get that mess situated. Oh my god, I almost burped. <laughs> so this is what we are starting off with. Um, we got Z Face. I will share with you guys what I typically use before my makeup. So I am just gonna go in with my ordinary moisturizer. This is literally almost done. I'm like squeezing the bare minimum out of this. I have to pick up another one. And as well on top after that dries, I like to put the ordinary niacinamide 10% and zinc 1%. I just find this really helps with my acne 
acne. I have my coffee here because we're gonna be here for quite some time, so. <laughs> now that I got my moisturizer, all I'll do is I'll put a little bit here and then here, a little down the forehead and I will just spread it all over my face. If you have like acne prone skin, this is so good. I'm telling you, you need to check it out. Can't have a little, you know, <laughs> slip. I actually did a whole video on how to cover acne, which I will link down below. I think I've only changed a couple things in that video. I know I changed my foundation recently, which I will share with you guys, but I start off with my e.l.f. primer. They have really affordable primers. This one in particular is the tone adjusting one. It is green, so it's really great for acne prone skin, or if you have any like rosacea or discoloration on your skin. I honestly don't really know if uh, uh, primers make a big difference sometimes I think they don't and then I start using one again and I really notice a difference so I go back and forth let me know which one's your favorite primer because I'm always on the lookout for really good primers most of my products for my makeup is Maybelline when it comes to the face makeup I'm not sponsored but Maybelline if you'd like to sponsor me hey girl hey I'm just going to use the Maybelline dream urban cover full coverage makeup Ooh, i didn't even realize that this has spf 50 in it wow i believe it's their new foundation i used to use the maybelline super safe foundation which i repurchased this like so many times i've probably the reason why they're always sold out i think i like this one better I'm gonna be honest this is my new favorite foundation i have the shade 128 warm nude of course my tan hasn't fully developed yet but it is getting there. It comes in a um, beauty guru. Wow, I've always wanted to be a beauty guru like this. <laughs> that comes in kind of like a squeezy tube, which I like, so you don't waste too much product. And of course, using my dirty uh, Real Techniques sponge. I'm just going to apply it onto my skin all over. Of course, even blending it out on the ears because then it just like really looks flawless and everything matches. It's crazy to see how much we do and how much money we spend to look our best. I actually saw um, a Clancy Burks video and she did the same thing and that's kind of where I got inspired to do this. So a shout out to you, girl. Um, I wanted to see like how much I spend and when I am going for a full pamper day, which isn't very often because your girl looks like a hot mess most days. So. <laughs> but once in a while, I like to, you know, feel good, look good, and try and look presentable some days. <laughs> I just find this foundation's really nice because it kind of doesn't look super cakey. It's more like feels like your own skin. I am just going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Light. And I was actually at the store looking to repurchase my e.l.f. Um, 16 hour camo concealer, which I personally love as well. They were sold out of my color, which is medium peach. I went to like my fifth Walmart and at that point I gave up. So I was like, you know what? I used to use this back in the day. Let's pick it up again. And I love this one. I totally forgot about it. Kind of conceal and highlight at the same time. That is why I got the light shade. So I just like to put it underneath my eyes in a triangle. By no means am I a beauty guru, but you know, your girl has watched a beauty tutorial here or there and that's what the girls say you have to do. So that is what I do. I don't even think you guys can tell because I just look so white from this lighting, but um, I just put on my forehead, a little bit on my chin, and I've been liking also putting it here, highlighting right at the jawline. I don't know why, but... I've been enjoying it. I just go ahead with my beauty blender and blend it all in. So, or not beauty blender, real technique sponge. You guys know what I mean. Once I blend it in, we are gonna go ahead and bake. And I actually haven't baked in so long. That sounds so inappropriate. I've been using the Fit Me uh, Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder. This is honestly a dupe to so many expensive powders out on the market. I do have to say, I'm pretty affordable when it comes to my makeup. I have a few higher end products, but for the most part, Poor, poor. For the most part, my makeup's pretty affordable. So I like to be a little bit more conscious with my money and if I can find a drugstore dupe, I totally go for that because makeup is expensive and it adds up real fast. So I actually take my um, wet sponge and I find that's the best way to apply your powder. 
So I'll just apply that right on the spots that I highlighted and concealed. And I just find this honestly doesn't make your makeup crease through the day. I don't know like how this became a thing, but it blew up on social media. And once again, I just do what, you know, the beauty gurus tell me, so. <laughs> I actually look like a powdered donut, no big deal. Oh yes, I'm just going to dust it off. <laughs> I don't know what the term would be. <laughs> I'm just going to wipe it off. Next, I like to do my brows and I actually use the Naked palette. I just use Buck and Naked Bix together and that's it. I used to use like brow products, but honestly, I like the way it looks with powders and I find it doesn't budge all day and it looks good. Next, I'm gonna do my bronzer. So I'm just taking my Marc Jacobs bronzer and this is in the 20 Dream Filter shade. Go on the hollows of my cheeks and then on my temples the top of my forehead, and of course on the jawline and a little bit down the neck. Recently, I've also been contouring my nose, so I just take like a little eyeshadow brush and I just go down the bridge of my nose. I never literally used to do this, but I have so much fun doing it now. And then I go also right underneath my lip. The last place I like to go is right um, on my eyes. I typically don't do like a full eyeshadow look. I'm not really that good at eyeshadow, hence why I'm not a beauty guru. And that's pretty much like all the places I like to contour. So next I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Blush Color and Highlight Palette. And I've actually been loving the blushes that come in this. I typically use the second colors. I like to put that on the apples of my cheeks. And then I am going in with my highlight. So I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Breezy highlight. This is an amazing like gold highlight. And recently I've been applying my highlight with Beauty Guru Moment again, eyeshadow brush. I just find it's more precise. So I'm just going to apply that down the bridge of my nose and also on the tip of my nose. I like to apply it underneath my brow bone and in the corner. So I just put it on top of the cheekbones here. And then of course on top of your top lip. Highlight and lashes are my favorite part of my makeup. And I always get a million questions on what mascara I use, if I'm using falsies, if so, which ones. And I'm obsessed with just having voluminous lashes. I just realized I don't, I didn't have a bra on this whole time. <laughs> I took it off when I was self tanning. The mascara that I've been using, which I definitely recommend, it's a drugstore one, and it is the Rimmel Wonder Luxe Volume. I believe it's like their new mascara. This is the mascara I use when I'm not using wearing falsies. I also use this. Boom! I also use this when I'm wearing falsies, but they even look amazing without like falsies. And this is 003 Extreme Black, and the. Falsies I use are the Salon Perfect 614s. This is what it looks like. They look like, honestly, eyelash extensions. They are beautiful and I stock up on these. I always go in with an eyelash curler, this mascara, and then I'm gonna put on my falsies. I'm gonna do that off camera. So I just finished my focus. I just finished my eyelashes and now all we have to do is the lips. I just like to wear my YSL lipstick in number 44. This is just amazing because it's kind of like a chapstick but it gives you that color that's better than your lips color and if it comes off during the day it's easy to reapply. You don't have lipstick like all over your face and I just think it is the perfect shade. It literally smells like candy or like watermelon, which is amazing. And I feel so bougie every time I use this. That is my makeup look today. Now I am going to do my ratchety hair. As you guys may be able to tell, hopefully, I did go darker. I went like a darker brown color and I, I it looks like a mess right now. My hair was literally so down to here. So I did trim it a little bit. And I wanted to keep it long, but I wanted it to be healthy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my hair out. And if you have like wavyish or curly, whenever you brush it out, your hair looks just like a mess. And before I go ahead and use my heat tool, I'm going to use my Moroccan Oil Perfect Defense Heat Protectant. This smells amazing, it is amazing. And 
I definitely recommend it. This is really great because it protects your hair up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Woo, I just cracked there. What I typically like to do is I like to put half up, half down. I can't talk today. Half up, half down, and then what is going on here? I will start with this section and then of course do the rest after. So I'm just going to actually straighten it. And I'm probably just gonna end up not showing you guys at all because I feel like all of us know how to straighten, hopefully. <laughs> I wanted to go kind of like a darker brown. I know a lot of you guys told me to go lighter, which I have gone lighter before, but I knew I wouldn't keep up with it. Hairdresser made it so that it kind of will eventually wash out so my roots, are, roots aren't as bad when it does come out, which I was really appreciative of because he knows I don't like keep up with dyeing and <laughs> I'm not very good at that. I like to have something that's low maintenance so that when my hair grows out, it doesn't look all funky. I love like Kendall Jenner's hair, like the dark darker brown color um, and a bunch of other people. So that's kind of where I got my inspo from. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my hair. I just finished straightening my hair and I was gonna wave it, but I think I'm just gonna keep it straight. And that is what it looks like. It was all one length and I was kind of bored of that. So I kept it one length except for I got front layers. So this is what my hair looks like now. Now I'm gonna change and we're gonna do a final look. This is the finished look look. I went with a really simple outfit but then added a pop of color. My red jean jacket I actually got from Winners. It was on sale for $20 which is a steal. My top is Zara and this was actually on sale too. I think it was like $5 or something. And then we got my high-waisted jeggings from Winners. They were $13 not even on sale. My shoes are from the Wizard store so I'm obsessed with these. These are just so cool and different and you guys know I'm into like cool different shoes. That is all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the glow up process. We are looking half decent. Just half. But it was so fun bringing you guys along, although my wallet is not so happy because the grand total of this, if you include everything I did, is let's just say my wallet's a little less happy. But I think it's important to pamper yourself sometimes. Whatever makes you feel good, and of course you don't need all this to be beautiful. You are, be 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 you are beautiful regardless. Most of the time, I just look like a bum. We are okay with that. And sometimes it's good to, you know, pamper yourself, make yourself feel like the queen that you are. So on that note, don't forget to click the subscribe button to join my YouTube family. I would love for you guys to be a part of it and turn on the bell so you're notified every single time I upload. I will also link my Poshmark closet so you can shop my closet down below as well as my merch, which are my mugs and my Instagram. So if you want to follow your girl, I am not complaining. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.